what's up? Titas and titas. <laughs> Jared and Kwanda here. Alright, so you guys are watching Tita Fit and in this channel we talk about health, fitness, and wellness and living your best life as a tito or a tita. Even if you're not yet a tita age or a tito age, this channel is probably for you. So if you like talking about that kind of thing, uh, please check out our other videos and you may want to subscribe. So we are going to talk about the difference or the pros and cons between working out at a home gym versus working out at a commercial gym. Now this topic is very very relevant because right now we are in the middle of a pandemic, of a global pandemic. In some countries, gyms have been closed down, they're not allowed to open. Now here in the Philippines, gyms are allowed to open at a limited capacity. But being that I've been going to the gym for the last four months I think now and uh, that the studies are out that there is very actually very limited transmission inside gyms of the virus that's going around. So it's relatively safe. I decided to make a video that is going to explore the advantages versus the disadvantages of deciding to go to each. Now, again, it's up to you really. This is a personal decision. It's not something that you should let some random guy in the internet tell you what to do. But rather, just to give you some information about that may help you decide which one is best for you. So if you fall to either one of these categories, you may want to um, choose one over the other or, you know, whatever. You do you. Okay, so first let's go to the home gyms. So what are the pros of going to a home gym or having a home gym? Number one, there's practically zero risk of you catching the disease that's going around. Since this is your own home gym, no one else touches it except you. Unless you're one of those people who charges a fee for your friends to come to your home gym to work out with you. Now, of course, there, there may be some risk if you do that. But generally speaking, the risk is even, even, even lower if you have your own home gym. Number two, you don't have to commute. There is no travel time going to the home gym. You don't have to spend on gasoline or fuel or diesel or whatever it is that your car or bike or whatever runs on. Basically, you don't have to travel. You probably just have to take a couple of steps and you're there to work out. So it's very, very, very convenient. And with that being said, how, as far as convenience is concerned, you can also work out at any time of the day that you want to. So basically, you have zero excuse of not working out if you have a home gym. And then last, last advantage of working out at a home gym or having your own home gym is you probably have access to a wide variety of coaches and trainers. You probably hire a trainer or a coach who lives on the opposite side of the earth or actually maybe the opposite side of the neighborhood <laughs> more realistically. You can hire the trainer you want basically so uh, there are no restrictions and most trainers these days have actually migrated their coaching to online platforms or even through Zoom so that you know they can keep an eye on you, the, the all-seeing eye and check out if you're doing things right, you know, so basically you can get any coach you want. So that is the last advantage of working out at the home gym. Now if I missed anything, comment down below if you think there is another advantage to working out at the home gym. Now we're gonna move on to the disadvantages of working out at a home gym. First disadvantage of working out at a home gym is of course the uh, availability or variety of equipment depending on your resources. Now, if you are balling, of course, and you have a lot of space, you can probably build a home gym that rivals most commercial gyms. Now, on the other hand, for people like myself who live in condos, <laughs> who live in small condos, and you know, there's no way for me to fit in a squat rack inside my condo at the moment, you know, <laughs> unless I convert the whole living room into a gym and have my wife maybe kick me out of the house. Sorry, Carla. Okay, you know, it's, it, it really depends. And, you know, uh, equipment costs a lot of money. So if you really want good equipment, that's gonna cost you a lot of money. Now, on the 
on the lower end of home gyms, you can probably afford to put up your own little home gym with just a couple of dumbbells and benches, mats, and some basic rudimentary stuff like kettlebells and balls like that. Maybe 10 to 10 to 20, 10 to 20 thousand pesos on the lower end, and on the higher end, you probably go as much as half a million pesos, or in dollars, that's ten thousand dollars, or even more. Let's say, for example, if you have your own assault air runner at home, that that's already about ten thousand dollars there, or about four hundred thousand pesos in the Philippines. Now, really depends. Uh, we are going to explore some of these options in future videos. Uh, we're gonna see some people that you can buy stuff from, furnish your home gyms for. So let us know if you like that kind of content so that we can get right on it and uh, like expedite the process to filming those videos right away. Number two disadvantage of working out at home for me at least is the number of distractions. Okay so you know Netflix is there, video games, PS4, PS5, and the most distracting of all the bed, the couch. Those are the most distracting things of all. Or maybe even like cooking. Kitchen's just right there. You know. Eat instead or snack while eating Netflix. Those are uh, if you have kids, those can be a, quite a distraction to working out as well. If you have pets, like has, has it's been seen in one of my videos that my pet likes to insert herself. My cat likes to insert herself whenever I'm working out at home. During the early days of the quarantine when I had no choice but to work out at home. For some reason, whenever I would film a video of myself working out in the living room, my cat just like to like rub up against me at that exact time and normally she wouldn't do that so much but uh, I don't know <laughs> maybe she wanted to be part of the workout as well number three the next disadvantage is if you ask me now this this may vary from person to person since uh, we're all different you know our, our temperaments different how chill we are is different but working out at home isn't the most uh, motivating environment if you ask me in my opinion I easily lose uh, my motivation for working out at home. Now don't get me wrong, I do coach most of my clients from home, so they do work out from home, and I'm there to motivate them <laughs> via Zoom. But who's gonna do that for me? No, <laughs> so as you guys know, motivation isn't really what gets you going, right? It's discipline in the end, it's how disciplined you are. But different strokes for different folks. If you develop the discipline, you know, during the early days of quarantine, during ECQ, uh, MECQ, I was able to work out consistently, but not at the intensity that I am used to. The intensity had to go down a notch. I still had that discipline of working out regularly. So let me know what your experience was. Are you a home gym kind of person or do you prefer working out at the uh, commercial gym? So we're done with the home gym advantages and disadvantages. We're going to move on to your commercial gyms or your membership gym. So obviously the first advantage of working out at a commercial gym is number one, a wide variety of available equipment for every different type of training discipline. If you're into bodybuilding, if you're into functional training, if you're into CrossFit, if you're into maybe even group fitness classes, well currently those aren't being done at the gyms but like they have like open spaces for things like if you want to practice yoga on your own inside the studio things like that they have a wide variety of cardio equipment treadmills if you don't like running outside with you know uh, outside on the street you can you can do it on a treadmill if you don't want to bike and die out on the road there are <laughs> you know there are uh, we call them stationary bikes <laughs> stationary bikes at the gym so the equipment that's available um, it would probably cost the average person to outfit a home gym that has all of these equipment available at least a million pesos for decent quality equipment okay decent quality I'm not talking about uh, equipment that you can buy from Shopee or Lazada that's gonna break or like apparently like your expectation is they're this big pero yun pala when they get to you when you have them delivered kasha pala dun sa back back area case ng lalamuna what is this? A gym for ants. A center for ants! What? Give this video a like if you got the Zoolander reference. <laughs> the next advantage of working out at the commercial gym, number two, is that it's it's the perfect environment to motivate you to work out. I don't know about you guys, but whenever I'm in the gym, there's just something about being in the gym that, you know, I don't know, I just want to lift heavy, you know? That, that really depends from person to person. That, that's how I feel when I'm at the gym. Yeah, boy, it's time. 
Yeah. Number three advantage of working out at a commercial gym is that it's maintenance free. They have dedicated um, maintenance staff to take care of the equipment, to clean up the gym, like wipe stuff and all, all that stuff, disinfect it. Where, whereas if you work out at home, if you don't have help, you're probably gonna do this yourself. <laughs> okay. So that's another advantage of working out at a commercial gym. Now on to the next advantage of working out at a commercial gym is you have access to the trainers who work at the gym, especially if you're a beginner. This could be a good way to for someone to check your technique, to check your form. Beginners can definitely benefit from having a trainer and even design programs for them. Now that can also be a disadvantage and I'll explain why because this is our first disadvantage or the first con of working out at a commercial gym. You are only limited to the gym trainers that are employed or vetted by that gym. And typically, most gyms don't allow other freelance trainers to train clients at their gyms. Now, there are exceptions to this rule, but generally speaking, like your average commercial gym, like Fitness First, Anytime Fitness, Gold's Gym, things like that. They don't allow trainers from outside to come into their premises and train a, their own clients. Now, case-to-case -case basis because some really uh, do allow, but yeah, generally speaking, as a rule. Second disadvantage of working out at a commercial gym is that the commute or the travel time could be a bit of a hindrance, especially with Manila traffic being uh, horrible. Although, you know, it's easing up a bit because of uh, some roadworks that are being uh, uh, completed, some projects that are like the Skyway 3. It's made going to certain gyms from north to south a little bit easier. Yeah, you know, there's still that expense on fuel, uh, the time that you will spend going to that gym, that's still gonna take a bit of a out of your day. Could use some of that time to be productive in other areas. Number three disadvantage, if your gym is in a place that has, uh, that charges fees for parking, uh, there's that cost as well, that added cost to it, parking fee. Now, if your gym is at a mall or near a bunch of restaurants, you could also end up spending more money eating around there. So instead of just having your pre-workout coffee at home, you'll probably have it at like a coffee shop or a Starbucks. And then after working out, if you live a little bit further away or the traffic's bad, you're probably gonna find a spot to eat wherever it's close to the gym. So that's another, it could be seen as a disadvantage. Next disadvantage, of course, we cannot deny there is a small risk of contracting a disease. This disease that's going around during this pandemic at the gym. There's a small risk, so always protect yourself. Sanitize equipment before and after you use it. Wear your mask. You know, responsibility for yourself and other people goes a long way. Uh, generally speaking, it is safe, but you cannot say it. There's zero risk. There is some risk. And finally, the last disadvantage of working out at a commercial gym is that currently, the most 24-hour gyms, as far as I understand, are not allowed to operate at the 24-hour operating time. Most of them close at like 10 p.m. and you are restricted to the hours that they are open so that is the last now it really depends on the person at the end of the day what kind of person you are do you enjoy working out at home because I do know a lot of people that during this pandemic they were able to take control of their health and their fitness and working out at home has done wonders for their uh, health for their fitness on the other hand there are people I do know who kind of let themselves go. They were fit before the pandemic, but when the pandemic started, I guess they might not have been the type to work out at home or I don't know, but some of them got... I'm not gonna fat shame anyone, I'm not gonna body shame anyone, but you know, hopefully this is just a phase and eventually they're able to take control of their health once again, but yeah. So, you know, different strokes for different folks to each his own. I hope this video did help shed some light on the advantages and disadvantages of home gym versus commercial gyms. So once again, this is Jared and Conde and you're watching Tito Fit. Thank you very much.